My name is Robert Gant. Um, I've been, I've lived in Dodge for 15 years. Um, got started in church when I was probably six or seven years old with my grandparents. They went to First Baptist Church in Liberal. I came to Christ at church camp when I was about 13. A couple weeks later, we were back in, we were back home, and it was during the summer, I want to say August-ish, I don't remember exactly, um, I was baptized there at First Baptist Church uh, around thir between 13, 14 years of age. Not long after that, um, I started to have a falling out. I mean, I, my, I wasn't as strong as I thought I was, and my faith wasn't either. Um, I found an addiction to lust and pornography to be a major weakness in my life, which led me to not living a Christian lifestyle. It led to a lot of dark secrets, a lot of dark paths that normal that I shouldn't have taken. <laughs> my first exposure, it wasn't long after my baptism, uh, probably 14, 15 years old, and I found my dad's stack of magazines. And I mean, growing up in the house I grew up in, it was just I mean, socially acceptable, which is, you, you find that a lot now. And uh, so, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't out of the norm. It was, it was one of those that it was looked at as, it's just normal for a teenage boy to do that. I didn't, I didn't think about it. I didn't, it didn't register for me to be, for it to be bad or for me, for it to be something that was a sin until, you know, honestly, until about, what is it, it's 19, so about five years ago, I went to my first men's encounter as an attendee and one of the guys, one of the teachings that was there was about uh, purity and it really opened my eyes to the idea to the truth that pornography is an addiction lust is an addiction and it's not something that should be taken lightly what I see him working right now um, mostly in my life not only not only after the miscarriage from last year and the baby we've got coming but also with my oldest daughter had a falling out uh, recently. She moved back to Florida to live with her mom. I know that relationship's on the mend, uh, but it's gonna take time. Uh, so seeing her talk to me more is, I know that's him. I also, uh, with my younger children and just the ability to watch them and the examples that we've led, that we've shown them by being involved in the church in, in what we do. Um, seeing him through them, just to see, just to see the work that he's doing on me and through me for my kids and the men's group that I'm I love 1 Corinthians 10, 13, where it says, uh, you've not been tempted by anything that's not common to everyone else, but God is faithful. Um, and through that temptation, he'll provide a way out so that you, you, know, so that you can endure. I love that, that assurance of victory that he gives us with that, with that piece, with that, verse, the, with that verse. And I use that, especially with my men's group. Uh, um, fast forward, I'm fixing to be 41. Um, I have a beautiful wife, Amanda. I have four children. I am so happy with where I'm at now because I do have that feeling of, I mean, I guess redemption. Um, although my past is dark with, with the addiction to porn and, with, and, and the lifestyle I led, um, where I'm at now, I'm, I've been on the deacon board of the church. Uh, I'm currently leading a men's group on Sundays. I've been involved in the middle school ministry. Mosaic, I love, I love you guys. I think it's awesome. I guess my story will be one of not just redemption, but uh, 
peace. And the fact that no matter where I was before, I came, I, I was able to come back to God. I was able to come home. And I'm in such a better place now. I'm going to church, Lord, and leading, being involved in the ministries that I'm in and with the family that I've got. Yes, this is a man of that's fourth kid on the way, but we lost my last year, so this one's just that much bigger and showed me this in, in the year that we've had from that. It's shown me how truly faithful he is and how much he really does care and how much he, no, he, he hears our prayers and he listens. But even though my story may not be as bad as someone else's, I still have one. My story is I have overcome, or I'm overcoming, I should say, my addictions. Um, I'm being the best father that I can to my kids. And no matter what, you're going to make mistakes. Um, as, a, as a parent, as a human being, you, you, you're going <laughs> to, it's inherent. We, we sin, we make mistakes, we're going to screw up. But knowing that I have a Father in Heaven that loves me and a Father in Heaven that is faithful to, to see me through it, no matter what, that makes it all bigger.